Uh, once a year, I get to open the meeting, so call to order and flex them.
uh, Debbie Anderson. Uh, yes or no on Mr. Dewey for president? Yes. <laughs> Tom A. Cliff. Yes. Wayne Dunn? Yes. Wayne Keel? No. Karen Carter? Yes. Anthony Marangi? Yes. Todd Miller? Yes. Kelsey Dunn? No. Kyle Beale? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Beale is the board president, the new board president for this year. I will turn the meeting over to him. Thank you, sir. I will be seeking nominations for vice president. Are there any nominations at this time? I will nominate Mr. Miller. Second. Any other nominations? Are there any others? Uh, motion to close the nomination. Here we go. Motion to close. Moved. Second. Second. So we do them all in favor, or do you want to go through the list? I can go through the list. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Rank. Yes. Mr. Dunn. Yes. Mr. Kehoe. Yes. Ms. Conner. Yes. Mr. Moranji? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Dolan? Yes. Mr. Beely? Yes. Ms. Anderson? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, roll call again. Do all the members again? Or was that a. Uh... No, that was. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's so a roll call. Uh, the roll call to. For the be president. That's on the list. Right, right, right. Uh, all in favor? Uh, uh, all right. uh, opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Mr. Miller is the vice president. Okay. No, that's okay. So now, let's do a roll call. Let's do a roll call. Right? Or is that just that? You have a roll call on the agenda. I have a roll call on the agenda. Oh, Action item okay. eight. Um, yeah, I got thrown off by that. <laughs> That's the roll call that, to determine that all members are currently right. here and present. Right, that, that roll call I'm supposed to put on there, I always call them present last. Okay. So we're going to be able to Yeah, yeah. All right, I apologize. All right. So a motion will be made that High Point Regional High School Board of Education and Executive Session provides updates on legal items, personnel, and negotiations, which are exempt from public participation pursuant to New Jersey Public Law. 1975, Chapter 231, Open Public Meetings Act. Any discussions held by the board which need not remain confidential will be made public when appropriate. Minutes of the executive session will not be disclosed until the need for confidentiality no longer exists. The board will reconvene in public session in the cafeteria annex at the conclusion of the executive session. I need a motion. I'll move. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Public comments on agenda items only. State your name and address. The importance of the Public Law Meeting Act. We'll open the public comments for agenda items only at this time. Each speaker should state his or her name and address. We'll have three minutes to address the board. We'll time by me. We'll limit this section in no longer than 45 minutes. Please be respectful of mine. Pleasure comments are being recorded. And seeing that there's nobody here. Carlo, the floor is open. Thank you. Um, first of all, I would welcome our two members. This is the Everyone said. All right, I'm here for a time. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy new year, and we are inviting you to our HPA party, which is February 9th, Saturday. And I'm going to use out, so we'll guess it this way. You can pay at the door for 20 bucks, and you buy your fee. Same place we were last year. Okay. I wasn't there last year. Um, not going back to the Nazi bar. We don't need a new place. And then no So um, anyway, um, again, um, as Dr. K said at the last board meeting, we have a lot of members that are in family conflict right now, um, caring for parents that are very sick. So we have um, one right now that is on hospice. Uh, I myself lost my grandmother and taking care of my mother who just had a knee operation and uh, another person who just lost a mother. So we're all getting older and that's what we're, we're dealing with. Otherwise, we're 
writing through and looking forward to the, the new year. I hope to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So we will now move on to appointments. We can read this up front, right, Jim? This put uh, we have to wait to get to the. Yeah. All right. All right. Tonight, so, tonight we're in Okay. At the request of we will go ahead and read, uh, read the code of ethics aloud. Um, I will start <coughs> off. Uh, the school board member shall abide by the following code of ethics for school board members. A. I will uphold and enforce all laws, rules, and regulations of the State Board of Education and court orders pertaining to school. Desired changes shall be brought about only through legal and ethical procedures. <coughs> B. I will make decisions in terms of the educational welfare of children and will seek to develop and maintain public schools that meet the individual needs of all children regardless of their ability, race, creed, sex, or social standing. C. I will confine my board action to policy making, planning, and appraisal and I will help to frame policies and plans only after the board has consulted those who will be affected by them. D. I will carry out my responsibility not to administer the schools, but together with my fellow board members to see that they are well run. E. I will <coughs> recognize the authority resting rests with the Board of Education and will make no personal promises nor take any private action that may compromise the board. F. I will refuse to surrender my independent judgment to special interest or partisan political groups, or to use the schools for personal gain or for the gain of friends. G, I will hold confidential, confidential all matters pertaining to the schools which, if disclosed, would needlessly injure individuals or the schools. In all other matters, I will provide accurate information and in concert with my fellow board members, interpret to the staff the aspirations of the community towards school. H, I will vote to appoint the best qualified personnel available after consideration of the recommendation of the Chief Administrative Officer. I, I will support and protect school personnel and proper performance of their duties. And J, I will refer all complaints to the Chief Administrative Officer and will act on the complaints at public meetings only after a failure of an administrative solution. So that's our rules for code of ethics, which maybe that you want to have on our workshop this year? Um, yeah, I'll look into that. Yeah, too soon. We have yeah. to remember. And, and maybe there's a, something we can do that's, um, yes, yeah, an extension of what we did. A different, a different approach, but, yeah. but I think it's always good to have um, our roles clarified by the school board so we understand what we're supposed to be doing and what right. we're supposed to not be doing. Alright, we will group together items one through six and their appointments. So I'm going to need a motion on items one through six for number one, recommended that we approve Jim Minkowitz as Secretary of the Board of Ed, effective January 1, 2019 through December 31st, 2019. Number two, recommended that we appoint Michelle Estars as Treasurer of School Money, effective December Number three, recommended the board appoint James Campbell as Affirmative Action Officer, first affirmative. Action Chair, I'm sorry, with Kim Carter serving as the Affirmative Action Officer for the same time period. Um, number four, recommended the board appoint Jay Gibson Carter as the 504 Coordinator and Issuing Officer for Working Papers, effective for this time period. Number five, recommended that the board appoint Kevin Craig as the Homeless Liaison and HIP Specialist for the same time period. And number six, recommended that the board appoint James Campbell as the HIP Coordinator, effective for the same time so I need a motion on one through six. So moved. Second. Any discussion on one through six? All right, we'll go. Ms. Conner? Yes. Ms. Tagona? Yes. Mr. Gihel? Yes. Mr. Dunn? Yes. Mr. Moranji? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Rancliffe? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Bailey? Yes. All right, now seven through ten, we will group together. Seeing a motion on these. Where it's recommended that the board appoint Kyle uh, Bailey as delegate to the New Jersey School Boards Association, unless somebody else would like to vote. Uh, number eight, it's recommended that the board appoint Wayne Dunn as alternate delegate to the New Jersey School Boards Association. Number nine, recommended that the board appoint Wayne Dunn as the delegate to the Sussex County School Boards Association. 
And number 10 is recommended that the board appoint Kyle Mealy as alternate delegate to the Sussex County School Board Association. Unless somebody else would like that. So, and number, motion. And number, number 11 is. Uh, we're going to strike that, right? We're going to strike that this year. Uh, Mrs. Anderson was the prior member, and we, we signed that as a board not to have a uh, member who participates in their monthly meetings, even though we are still a member of the Ed Service Commission. So, I need a motion on 7 through 10. So moved. Second. Any discussion on 7 through 10? Special volunteers? No? Mr. Dunham? Yes. Mr. Keough? Yes. Mr. Dunn? Yes. Mr. Morangi? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Rancliffe? Yes. Mrs. Anderson? Yes. Ms. Kimer? Yes. Mr. Vealy? Yes. Okay. This will be grouping items 12 to 31. Let me see my own comedy. Item number 12 recommended that we declare the committee structure as follows. Those committees will be handed out, and that this actually is really not. We can probably do it now, I guess, at the table. We will. They will be finance and insurance. There will be buildings and grounds committee. There will be a separate committee for transportation and athletics, negotiations, personnel and policies, security, IT and health, curriculum, and the public relations committee. So you're just splitting out the buildings. I'm going to split it out. Okay. Split out buildings and grounds. Okay. To get the extra committee. Uh, so, number 13, it'll be uh, whereas Open Public Meetings Act Chapter 231, uh, Public Law 1975, requires certain public bodies to comply with provisions of the section of said act. This is a listing of our meetings for this year. Number 14, recommended the board approve the code of ethics for the school board, Robert's Rules of Order, and parliamentary procedures of all meetings for, uh, as follows, and that's as listed. Uh, number 15 recommended that the board appoint the firm of Bush Law Group LLC as our uh, board attorney effective for this school year, or this year. Uh, number 16 recommended that the board approve the following vendors for professional services uh, for the 18 19 school year for the architects, which will be EI Associates. Number 17 recommended that the board designate the New Jersey Herald, the Star Ledger, as the official newspapers. Number 18 recommended that we designate uh, SB1 Bank as the official depository. Number 19 recommended that the board approve the principal's petty cash fund for $500 and the superintendent's petty cash fund for $150. Individual warrants eligible for reimbursement may not exceed $75 per receipt. Uh, sales tax will not be approved for reimbursement. Number 20 recommended that the board approve the fee schedule for photocopies as listed. Number 21 uh, recommended the board approve a $3 transfer fee for alumni requests. Number 22 recommended that the board approve the following list of board accounts and their signatories as listed. Number 23 recommended that the board authorize the school business administrator and secretary as those things listed. Number 24 is recommended that the board authorize the school business administrator and board secretary in consultation agreement with the superintendent to process, uh, process line item transfers and compliance with the required approvals for those uh, S1701 uh, and 83680 between the board meetings for the year. It is recommended that the board approve the bylaws, policies, and regulations printed and codified in the comprehensive document titled Bylaws and Policies of High Point Regional High School Board of Education. Number 26 recommended that the board recognize the following bargaining units and contractual agreements the High Point Education Association and the High Point Administrators Association. Number 27 is recommended the board authorize the board president or designee as a board secretary when appropriate. Number 28 is recommended the board authorize the use of a signature stamp for the board president, treasurer, and board secretary. Number 29 recommended the board approve the appropriate bonding of the school business administrator. $290,000 and the treasurer of school monies for $290,000 as required by statute. Number 30 is recommended that we approve the following resolution for School Alliance Fund Commissioner effective uh, January 1st and through December 31st of this year as listed. Number 31 recommended the board approve the following resolution authorizing contracts with approved state contract vendors for boards of education pursuant to NJSA 18A. Uh, colon 18A-10 effective January 1st of this year through 
December 31st of this year, and that is as listed. Seeing a motion on the 12th or 30th. Motion. Second. Any discussion on those lengthy items? Yeah. Um, I was going to ask about the um, the committees. How do you decide what committees and stuff? Because I, I, like, I don't know when you have the meeting. I see the meetings were listed. I just have some conflicts or something. I'm interested in certain committees. Uh, they, well, Dr. Ripley is giving me your requests for yeah. committees, and as well to you, Anthony. Um, so I'll take those into consideration when I put these together. Uh, but finance and insurance is usually on a Thursday. Buildings and grounds, transportation, and athletics are usually Wednesdays. Negotiations are as needed and as scheduled. Personnel and policies is on Mondays prior to the board meeting. Security, IT, and health are usually Tuesdays. Uh, curriculum is Tuesdays. And public relations is as needed. Yeah, my, my issue is Tuesdays is when I usually have meetings okay. that I'm sometimes required to stay till four and then maybe go check on the kids. So Tuesdays okay. are just bad for me. Like I can come at night, but it's just. So Tuesdays are bad for you? Yes. Okay. Right. I have to make a comment because I just can't not. And that is January 22nd is a home wrestling match. Yeah, I thought it was the 15th. I think we have two left. Yeah, we, we uh, well, Ms. Timer had asked who if she will be here, um, and she would like to be here for said meeting. Well, the 15th's not great for me either, but. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it, and if there were people in the building, it would be an opportunity for them to come and say hi, other than come here for our athletic. But that's just me. I mean, I'm open to whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be on a Tuesday for the first month. You can agree, you can go, you can go back if you were so inclined, and to discuss moving the formerly approved uh, item 13, or that's not yet to be approved. To discuss item 13 and possibly change it to a different day, perhaps. Um, if you would, Monday the 21st. What, with the uh, day? Oh, sorry. I didn't have that on my... I don't have a problem with that. Are we closed? Is the building closed? No. No, it's not. No. I don't school, the kids aren't coming to school, 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 but... Correct. So, um, any day other than that, I mean, you could have... We could do Monday the 21st, technically, right? Mm. Yeah, I agree. I'm fine with that. I'll make a motion to change it. Well, Tom, Tom made the motion, so if he's okay with changing it, he can just change it. Change it. To what date? 21st. We're good. 21st. But it's good. 21st. Bill, are you happy I brought that up? Thank you very much. Yeah. So I don't know my count, but how did I know that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but we don't have many home matches. I think we've got two more. I have no message. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. All right. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Kehoe. Yes. Mr. Dunn. Yes. Mr. Morangi. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. Mr. Ancliffe. Yes. Mrs. Anderson. Yes. Mrs. Timer. <laughs> yes. Mr. Dunn. Yes. Mr. Billy. Yes. Well, now on the floor for public comments. For anybody else? Does Carly like to come up again? Well, I'm just wondering, where, where will you post things on the committees? Well, when will they be yeah. available? Yeah. Probably tomorrow. Maybe oh. sometime this week. Don't hold me to tomorrow. Let's put it this way. I have the weekend. By Monday, they will be known. And are, and they're usually on our website? Is that, are they listed? Are they on the or Jim can email the sheet once I'm trying to think we'll about it. We'll put it up on the website as soon as. Oh. So, I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There was a time where we did have committee members on the website. That was when I, I was. I don't believe they are currently. Yeah. That's when I used to sit on that side of the table a lot, and then I would request.
us to the bit we on it because when we need if somebody needs to contact the committees. That you contact the committees? Thank you. 